Esther simulation going on now through Wednesday. Wednesday, St. Louis. Was anybody else aware of this disaster simulation going on now through Wednesday? Was anybody aware? I hadn't heard nothing about this. If you didn't know, the St. Louis area is hosting a large-scale disaster simulation for the first responders and military warning us to stay away from certain areas, that they're going to have it closed off. There's military from all over coming here. We're going to see helicopters, tanks, all of the things. I'm thinking, wait, what? More than 500 federal and local first responders will be in St. Louis region Monday through Wednesday to practice their response to a magnitude 8.4 earthquake across the New Madrid Fault. As we know, any time that they start doing any type of drill or preparation, just like they did with the vid, because they, ra they ran simulation on that as well. We know something coming. Okay, I'm like, oh, oh. Members of the Missouri National Guard, military, and local law enforcement agencies will practice search and rescue for a planned emergency response drill. Task Force 46, a National Guard unit from Michigan, will co-host the dense urban terrain training with the St. Louis area, area Regional Response System. It will be the most in-depth disaster drill ever held. That's not concerning. That's not concerning, is it? The simulated disaster begins at Bush Stadium, where hundreds of responders will practice search and rescue missions and mass casualty decontamination. They're going to be doing this during a baseball game. <laughs> this is what I also... Hmm. Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Kakwadash, double honors unto the apostles. And the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutation to the hopeful that got the pushing his word and truth, and in sincerity across the four winds, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, pushing the up out of here, shalom warm to the hopeful that the believers, the listeners, who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. What I want to get into this morning, you know, is something is coming, okay? Something is coming, and there's just so much, you know, happening at the same time, all right, and you can, you know, if you're in the spirit, you know, you can feel, okay, that this devil, you know, is setting himself up to make a move, okay, you have these um, disaster, you know, simulations happening, all right, and one of the things I want to harp on as well, she says they're going to be doing this during a baseball game, you know, because, this is the perfect season, you know, for Esau to pull particular things off, you know, because this is the season of distractions, okay? As you have, you know, college football, NFL, okay? As, as, as we have, uh, you know, uh, NBA, you know, be starting in the fall, okay? Baseball, you know, the playoffs, you know, dealing with baseball, the hunt for October is, is what they call it, okay? You have all these things going on, all right? At the same time, all these distractions. Meanwhile, you know, these devils are prepping to catch the masses off guard, okay? You know, they, they, they have things, you know, whether it's, you know, a, a false event, okay? Whether it's a... a, a, a what they call a black swan, okay, a black swan, you can get that, uh, black swan, all right, black swan event, all right, it says the black swan theory or theory of black swan event, all right, is a metaphor that describes an event that comes as a surprise has a major effect and is often inappropriately rationalized after uh, uh, after the fact okay with the benefits of hindsight 
The term is based on the Latin expression which presumed the black swan did not exist. Okay, so a black swan event is something, you know, that's a surprise event. Okay, well, it has a major effect. You know, that's the main definition. And this devil is gearing up something, some type of event that's going to have a major effect on everything. Because ultimately we know that this man wants to bring a new order. All right, and to get people to accept this new order okay he has to destabilize all right society man okay that's what he does when he goes into these other nations all right and cause you know conflict and havoc okay he destabilizes then he brings in what he wants to do what he what he had already planned what he already prescribed Okay, when he wants a resource in the foreign country, well, he causes chaos and destabilizes that country, that government, and then he swoops in as if he's a hero, Well, really, he comes in to set up what he wanted to set up before the chaos started, all right, and that's the same thing that he's doing globally, and it's going to be the worst here in America, man, okay, this is uh, the word destabilize. It says to upset the stability of cause unrest in. Okay? Cause unrest. And this devil, okay, is getting ready, all right, to uh, cause unrest. Okay? And that's why scripture tell us that why these things are happening. Okay? Let's get a few precepts. All right, this is um the book of Isaiah, thirty three. All right, and um and six, it says, "In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability." Okay, you see why this man is getting ready to destabilize. We're being stabilized by this word. That's why you know we have to be rooted. In truth, okay, we have to have an understanding when it comes to prophecy and the things that's, that's to come, okay, which makes us what rooted in faith and belief, okay, having a, having the a true names to call upon, okay, because a hey, being in those names puts a hey, puts a spirit on us, man, okay. At most high in Christ, and then they say, you're going to be through. Okay? In these times, man. See, we're coming to the times to really, all right, have a, have, a, have, a, have a clear understanding of what we have faith in, man. What we believe. You see? Because we're finna see everything around us be destabilized, man. These people are finna lose it. You know? Because their mindset is this place continuing on. Okay? Like the um the beloved brother Barack Alabama said this weekend um, out of Birmingham. He said these people need America to be up and running. Okay? All their expectation and their hope. Okay? Is rooted in America. All right? Being up and running. This society in general being up and running, man. So when... This man destabilizes, okay, this society. People are going to lose it, okay? And it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, is his treasure, okay? And within this grace period, we develop, you know, we're developing a healthy fear, a reverence of Yahweh Hashem Shai, and we know ultimately, that the Lord is causing these things to happen. Everything that we're finna see happen is the will of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And he's using this devil on the left hand side, all right, before, you know, he's judged to bring a lot of these things to pass. Okay? Esau Elam is, is, is a weapon of choice, all right, for Jacob's trouble. 
for the tribulation. Okay, until the time that the Lord, you know, judges him. Soon after. So you get Matthew 21. All right. Um, Matthew 24. 21. Matthew 24, 21. It says, For then shall be a, shall be great tribulation, such was not since um such such was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. So we're coming to a time of great tribulation, man. Okay, something something is brewing. You have the, the migrants, okay, Venezuelans, and you know, and they're just one phase of this thing, man. Those people being allowed to come here and pretty much terrorize you Americans. Okay? They want to start, you know, uh, civil unrest. Okay? They, they, they want it to be Okay, hey, America is finna get a, a major taste of these third world countries and what they go through. Okay, with the extreme poverty. Because third world countries are because of this B system. Okay, when the scriptures say do, all right, <laughs> do unto her as she have done. Okay, so the Lord's a righteous judge, man. And, and America is going to be far worse than third world country, man. Because uh, America, okay, is entitled. And America has, what, all these guns. Okay? Within, for, you know, within the citizens, man. So, we're about to see, you know, the, the worst time ever since the earth has begun. Okay? <laughs> So they're doing these these simulations and these drills, okay, preparing for the chaos that's already planned, okay, and it's from up top, the elites, okay, and these governments are nothing but an entity that serves the interests of the elite bankers, man, because they damn sure don't serve you people, you people gearing up to vote and they got your emotions you know, so in tune with, okay, uh, a candidate, okay, uh, a political party, okay, when the government as a whole, they don't serve you people, the government is at war with you people, man, okay, and it's going to be more openly as we, you know, get further into this thing, man, so this fall going to be interesting, man, we, we'll see, <laughs> you know, we'll see. All right, but we know, you know, it's in the air, you know, for something, okay, that happened, okay, a major event, all right, which is going to cause major change, okay, in, 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 in the reality of the masses, man, okay, so Lord will you brothers, all right, and you sisters edify to the next time I say shalom.